Hi guys, it's Emma here, and today I'm going to be doing my September favorite. Now, today is October 4th, so I'm a little bit late with this, but I thought better late than never. This is also my first video, so, um, yeah. Um, it's an exciting event for me as well as you. So, let's get started with some eye makeup favorites. Um, first one is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow um, palette in 248 Lust. Now this has some beautiful um, purples in it and some nice charcoal and a nice highlight color. I love, 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 love this charcoal color to kind of smudge it along my lid and then take this dark purple color here, this one, and put that right in the crease just kind of smoke it out and I love it. It looks really pretty. And it's kind of been the look I'm wearing this school recently. And I know it's a little dramatic, but I don't like it. So, yeah. Um, then I've really been enjoying this Lash Blast volume. I've had about three tubes of this, but it's a definite favorite of mine. Lash Blast volume in waterproof um, because it's like the best waterproof mascara ever. And because I swim a lot, waterproof is very helpful. So I really recommend this mascara if you're looking for kind of that voluminous look, but it isn't clumpy and it has a nice curl, so it still looks really nice. So that's what this mascara does for me. Um, some blush favorites. I have two blushes that I've been loving this month. The first one is Sugar Bomb. I've had Sugar Bomb for about a year now, and as you can tell, it's quite beat up. Um... And it has those four colors. It has kind of a coral color, a light peachy color, a pink color, and a lavender color. And as you can tell, I have hit tan on the coral color. But I kind of just swirl it around. I don't know why the coral color is, like, the most popular. I just kind of swirl it around pretty equally. It's pretty e beat up. It's a really nice flush on the cheeks. I really enjoy this flush. Um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Um, this is in the shade Doll Face. These are supposed to last 25 hours. I wouldn't say they last 24 hours or 25 hours. I would say they last a good amount of time. Like, I don't have to touch on my blush during the day, but I never touch on my blush during the day because that would be a little awkward in the bathroom. Um, but this doll face color is gorgeous. It's like a really pretty kind of night pink flush. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's like nothing noticeable on the cheek. And it's a really natural look. This it's kind of been like my little foundation duo. It's not actually a real foundation, but I've really been enjoying the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. This is a really nice concealer. It has a nice little pumperoo on it. Um, It's really long-lasting. It lasts the whole day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't come off. It's just really, really nice, especially if you're at school. If you use it and you want to have it be shown, you can cover it up. It looks pretty natural. And as you can tell, I've used up about half of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I just try to tilt it over in, like, my makeup drawer, and so that's why it's helpful. Um, and then I've also really been enjoying the Bare Minerals Matte. I have this in the color C10 Fair. And this is a really nice powder. It has pretty good coverage. Am I running out? I don't think I'm running out. But it's a really, really nice powder, and it covers well. And for a lip duo that I've really been enjoying, it is the Me 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 Pussycat Cheek and Lip Tint. I picked this up in England. It's a dupe of the Benetint. So I don't think you can purchase this in the States, but you could purchase the Benetint, or you could purchase one of the dupes. The dupes that I know of are, like, the Sephora one has, the Sephora has a brand one of that. I don't, I've never tried it, so I can't really recommend them. I haven't tried the actual Benetton, so I can't recommend the Benetton, but if you're over in the UK, or you know somebody in the UK, maybe they could pick you up some mini mini pussy cat. It's a really nice product. Um, so I dab that on my lips, and it makes a really nice, long-lasting pink tint. And then I'll uh, put on my Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Really natural, 
really pretty and just really amazing. So it lasts me a good while. The pink is on there like the whole day. The this the little lipstick one lasts all around to lunchtime. So it's really pretty. It's kind of bolder. I don't know. People always give me red lips, but a lot of people compliment me on my lip color as well. I don't really care what other people think of me in my school, so they can think that I look crazy, and I'll be like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> um, and then I've been enjoying my love product, guys, so thank you for staying tuned for this long. Is Not Your Mother's Hair Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. And this is like my all-time favorite. Well, not all-time, but this is like the top of the favorites, okay? Because it just makes my hair have a little bit more life to it. And it looks really nice, and it smells really good, and it just reminds me of the summer when I wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm like, oh, I don't want to wake up. So it's a really nice product. It lasts all day. And if I'm putting my hair in a bun or something, I spray my hair like this ridiculous amount because then it has a lot more texture and a lot more volume, so the bun looks a lot better. So that's a really good tip. You can wear this when it's down. I wear it like every single day. And yeah, it's amazing. So those were my September favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. And because this is my first video, I really, really, really appreciate it. If you would, you know, stick around, um, subscribe, just check out what my other videos are like. Um, yeah. So I hope you have a good day. Bye.